Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of using components in React. Now, I could make an entire course just talking about using components in React. And if you're not familiar with how React works and how components work, then this will just kind of give you a brief overview of how these components work and really just sort of help you to wrap your mind around what we're doing here. So a component in React is basically just a collection of JSX or a collection of HTML that has maybe some styling, maybe some logic, and it's sort of contained in this one class or this one um, container. And what we can do then is import that into other files on our website and sort of use it. And the best way for me to explain this is just to kind of show you. So earlier in this tutorial, we created this counter.js class. And if I go over here on my website, I can click and you'll see this is the counter. And basically all it does is just increments and decrements a counter when you click these buttons. Now this is what's called a React component. And so you'll notice that the whole component is just this thing right here. And it has some, some of this JSX, some of this HTML style stuff in here, right? And then it also has this constructor function up here and it has these functions like this on click function inside of this button. So there's a lot going on inside of this component. Now imagine that I wanted to take this counter and I wanted to insert it on another page in my website, right? So here on the home page, how about instead of just linking to counter, so instead of just having this counter link, imagine I wanted to actually physically put the counter on the page. Well, the way that we can do that is by inserting our component or including our component inside of our index file. And I'll show you how we can do that. First thing we want to do is come up here and I'm just going to type import. And then I want to type the name of the react component that I want to import. So in our case, it's going to be counter. And then I'm going to say from and here we just want to put the path to the file. And this is going to be the path of the file starting at the root directory of our website. So it's just going to be dot slash and then it's just called counter.js. And actually, I don't think we need the JS. So we've imported this counter and now we can actually use it. So I can come down here in my JSX and let's say that instead of um, just linking, we want to now actually include the counter. So I'll get rid of this and I'm going to add in this counter tag. So this is the name of the component. So we're going to refer to it just like this. And then I can just do a forward slash and we'll close off this tag. And so now when we save this page, the counter shows up over here. And so instead of just having that counter on its own page, right? So if we go over to this counter page, the counter is here, but now we can just include that counter on our own page. And that's basically how you're going to be building your pages using in, in Gatsby, right? You want to be using these components and it takes a little while to kind of get used to using these components, but it's a really great way to develop. And that's basically the whole point of react is to break up your website into these different components. Now there's another thing that you can do with these react components and you can actually pass them information. So in here I could pass this counter, for example, like a color. So I could say color, is equal to and we'll just pass in blue. And I can actually access this color variable from inside my component. So I'm here in my counter component. And if I wanted to access the color, I could basically just type out something like this. So I can do open and closed curly brackets and then I can type this dot props and then I want to type the name of the variable that we passed in. So it's just going to be color in our case. And this will print out the color. So over here you can see it's printing out blue. And I can actually use this color to style this component. So I could come up here to this div and we could make a style. And then inside these style tags, I could say color and I could set it equal to this.props.color. So now, this component is going to be colored blue. And what's cool is I can change the color of this from in this file. So I, if I wanted to make this like green, for example, I could just pass in green and now the counter is going to be green. So that's kind of how you can use these components to make your website more powerful. And obviously you can create more than just a counter. So I could create, you know, a couple dozen of these components and add them in on my website. Like I could create a component for 
like a navigation list. I could create a, pon a component for the header of my website. I could create a, a component for a button. Really doesn't matter. You can create components for anything and then you can sort of just use them on your web pages in order to build your user interface. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.